As one of only eight teams remaining in the Class 4A state baseball playoffs, it's been a sensational season for the guys and the girl at George Ranch High School. That's right, the girl. 17-year-old junior relief pitcher Sarah Hudak. It's just like I've been playing with these guys ever since I was little, and it's just like any other day over the years. It's just, it's just routine. It's just comfortable with these guys, and I can't ask for a better group to play with. It's been really cool to be a part of it and to see her work through the adversity that she's faced being a girl in a guy's sport. Um, and I, I mean, I played with her in Little League, so I've been with her for a while. I mean, she's really a part of our team. She's not we're not like looking at her any different. She's a part of our team and we have her back through anything. And so it's cool to see her do what she's doing right now. The daughter of former Houston Astros pitcher, John Hudak, baseball has been a way of life for Sarah. She did try her hand at softball, but her passion for baseball never wavered. My dad being playing professionally, it's just, I've been around it all my life. And I've tried it once when I was younger, but it wasn't for me. And softball, softball was not for me. And my dad used to have batting cages over in New Territory area, and I would be up there every day just watching his instructors. Just I would watch his instructors give lessons to other kids and just mimic them and just learn from them every day. And it was just a big, huge learning experience for me and helped me a lot in my game. And by playing the game here at an emerging statewide powerhouse, by no means has Sarah been handed a token spot on the roster. She was one of my best strike throwers in the fall when we were going through offseason, and she's earned her spot 100%. You know, uh, she's been accepted from day one. You know, she's grew up with these guys basically, you know, all her life. So uh, they know what she can do. I mean, they don't like facing her when we do in her squad. So, uh, you know, they know what she's capable of when she's on. In limited action during the regular season, Sarah struck out 11 batters in 11 innings of work with a very respectable 2.25 ERA. I work on making the batter, uh, just keeping them off balance, side, like in and out, up and back, like keeping, like I'm going to throw oh, um, off speeds and place my fastball in and out and not leave it over the plate and keep it down. Baseball's a mental game and everyone knows that, it's just, it's all in the head and you, if you can perfect that mental, the mental part of the game, the physical part is, comes a lot easier. And Sarah had opposing hitters off of their swing in the regional quarterfinals against Goose Creek Memorial, where Sarah retired all five hitters she faced to close out a dramatic extra inning victory for George Ranch. Gosh, it was just very nerve wracking. I was glad I have a great, one of the best, state's best defenses behind me throughout that whole situation. I put her in a tight spot, and uh, but you know that's I have confidence in her. You know she she throw strikes, you know, and let your defense work for you. And they're they're going to help you out, and that's exactly what she did. I mean she she came and did a fantastic job. Heck, she even got in that bat and, and worked a walk to score an RBI. I mean, man, she did a, a fabulous job and a tremendous amount of pressure, you know. And so I couldn't be more happy and more proud of her. After the game, I saw the video. They're chanting Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. What was that like? Uh, it was definitely a surreal experience just to have all the confidence from fans and families and all that and just to have everyone behind me through this whole thing. With those kind of heroics, Sarah figures to get significant more playing time next season. She also has her sights on playing college baseball. For now, she's simply the girl among the guys on the state-ranked George Ranch baseball team.